Okay guys, so today we are gonna be opening this guy because everybody keeps asking me when I'm gonna unbox him and set him up. I bought him, I don't know, probably a week ago. I don't even remember which store I was in, but I'm already out there traveling the United States filming all the spirits I can possibly film. I'm gonna try to get a hundred of them done during this season over the next three months. But along the way, I picked this guy up and today we're gonna take him out of the box and set him up. I hope he's gonna be easy because Johnny Punk gave me a big problem when I set him up. Place the left leg through the left pant leg. Okay. All right, this must be it here. All right, Johnny, let's get your paint. Wait, what the world? All right, so this is Lil Skelly Bones, crouching little Skelly Bones. If you remember, there is an older Skelly Bones prop that is sitting on a swing and swinging. This is the one who, in his description, basically says that he's no longer on the swing. He's somewhere hiding and crouching down and waiting to jump up and get us. So let's go ahead and open him up today and see what all is in the box. He was $169.99 and I used one of the 20% off coupons. So it brought him down, I don't know, around 30 bucks, something like that. Okay, this is cool. There's an interior box that slides out and it has everything in it. So you don't have to just take the box and hold it up and try to get all kinds of crap out. Let's set this back here. Kelly Bones watching over us. Okay, I have not set up a lot of animatronics in my days. I have owned a bunch of them before I went on the road in the RV, but it was like Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and the old Freddy Krueger and the new Freddy Krueger. I had a ghost face. Um, but I believe when I bought all those, they were already put together, or they were very easy. It was the kind that you put your hands on their shoulders and you scrunch them down, and then when you want to bring them up, you just hit the button and it pops them back up, stick the head on, and you're good to go. These animatronics have a lot of parts, and I assume these are little Skelly Bones shoulders. So let's go ahead and get these instructions out here. I'm a dude, I don't like instructions. I usually just take the instructions and toss them and then try to figure it out myself. But I don't wanna break anything here, so. I gotta say, this is really cool. This is a really good set of instructions. Look how it's all in color. I mean, usually you get instructions for how to put things together and it's like black and white and just the basic bit of information. Definitely not enough to set things up. But this is super detailed. Even more detailed than I ever expected this prop to be. So let's see, does he have, yeah, on the front here we got the parts list. Let's go ahead and look through those and make sure that we have everything. We got the shoulders. <laughs> we got the arms. Look at those little hands. They're just clear little hands. That is too funny. We got the plastic shoulder frame. Let's see, two of these leg foams. I don't know. All right, let's see. This must be his outfit here. And all right, look at this. We got two little feet. <laughs> that cracks me up how small they are. All right, we got a box that says little skelly bones. Bigger box here, which is gonna be probably his jumping mechanism. Plug, and then we have little skelly bones head. Look at that thing. That It's so funny because he's such a small prop. He's only like, what, three and a half feet tall? But this head, this skull is actually pretty dang big. It's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. It's like probably even bigger than my head. Let's see, could you wear my hat, Skelly Bones? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, give it back. We got a wire coming out the head. And there's his base. Apparently there's supposed to be some hardware here too, and a bunch of zip ties. So hopefully it's in this box. Here's the zip ties, a couple of screws in there, power voice box, I guess. Okay, I am pretty excited about this, guys. Skelly Bones was one of my favorites right from the get-go this season. So assembly starts right here with this guy. Actually, hold on. I don't want to scratch my table. Okay, that's much better. Towel down there so I don't have to scratch my table. Next is this guy. Hmm, attach the pop-up mechanism to the base. The round plastic mount located on the base. Hmm, ah, okay, I got it. It's got a little niche right there. The niche has to go in. 
and then he snaps into place. All right. Okay, next, attach the plastic shoulder frame. Okay, so it goes this way. Even though they have the A on here upside down, it goes this way. What in the world? And you turn it and it snaps into place. Okay, that seems easy enough. Insert the metal prongs located on the arms into the holes and indented rack, indented track, <laughs> on either side of the plastic shoulder frame. So that would be these, the scally arms. Okay. So I guess it goes like this. Wait, what? So do I have to bend it? I don't want to bend it. Ah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do I got it? Okay, so wait a minute, this must be the front over here. No, that's not right. This is the front. What the heck? I am not an animatronic builder. Okay, so I think, the heck, isn't this supposed to be a hole right there? This is impossible. I thought we were friends, skelly bones. Okay, I think I got it. So this, what the heck? <laughs> Okay, I see. Yeah. So I, I have to bend these arms when it's time. That was throwing me off, because this is his right hand here, so you'd think it would hang like this. But this is over here. But if you put it in like this, and then you bend his hand up, then it's right. Okay. Anyway. All right, I guess that's right. Let's move on. Secure the leg foams. I haven't even secured the hand foams yet. <sighs> Secure the leg foams to each end of the plastic shoulder frame. Front. That's not right. Maybe it is right. Let's go up there. Oh, okay, I see. I'm still thinking this is the back here. Oh my gosh. All right, so there. <sighs> so they have these labels on wrong, right? Yeah, because this the front thing should be over here because this is the way that your legs bend right here. So, all right. What in the world? I don't love this. All right, I did it wrong. These arms I put on backwards. Even with such detailed instructions here and great pictures, it's tough to tell what's the front and the back. This is apparently the front of Skelly Bones. So let's try this again. This goes in here. Now, back to these stupid legs. Your legs are stupid, Skelly Bones. All right, yeah, it, these are still labeled wrong though because this is the crouching position of your legs. The legs go there, yeah, it comes up over there and then you're supposed to zip tie it on there. Looks like we got eight zip ties in here. All right, here we go. There's one. I don't know, whatever. Attach the shoulder form to the plastic shoulder frame. Somebody already told me to make sure I don't put it on backwards, which is probably exactly what I'm gonna do. Okay, I think it goes like this. Couple more zip ties. Even if I put this on wrong, I don't think it's that big of a deal. Of course, I guess we will find out. All right, next, little scally bones, I'll tell you. Slide the shoe blisters. He's starting to come together. That is too funny, look at this little costume. <laughs> you could just put a little toddler in there. Shoe blisters, that's the little mini feet. This is too funny. They use this clear plastic to make the foot forms, but they still put every little crack and crevice and toenail and detail on there like it's a real foot. In the world, I can't even get his foot in there right. Okay, there's one. You're about to be a one-footed skelly bones here in a minute. All right, number two. Put the costume with IR sensor on the assembled body, ensuring the leg forms slide into the blister shoes. World. So, I think, Okay, this opens up all the way to the head. Yeah, so I can slip each foot in, and then somehow it has to go into the foothole. Get in the foothole! In the world, it's like dressing a real kid. Come on, Skelly, you're gonna be late for school. All right, legs are in. In the world, I'm about to put you up for adoption. All right, we're getting there. Okay, all right, almost. Okay, so let's wait to Velcro them up in the back yet. Thread the feet over the metal wire foot loops located on the base. Okay, so that would be these back here. Is that it? I mean, like, okay. 
I guess that's all there is to that. Attach the head to the plastic shoulder flame. Attach the head to the plastic shoulder frame. Not flame, frame. But that is an idea for next year's skelly bones. Flaming skelly bones. Ah, okay, I got it. Cure the head with the two screws. Okay. I dropped it. I dropped the stupid screw. All right. Where did that stupid thing go? This is impossible. Here it is. No, it's not. I dropped it again. All right, there it is. All right, Skelly. Not making me happy here. I'm gonna drop it again. All right, I got it, I got it. All right, Skelly, we gotcha. All right, put back on. What's next? Connect the metal chain with the hook coming up from the pop-up mechanism, okay. All right, so here's the chain. Up, through the back, and hook it to Skelly's head. All right, this has to go down inside though. All right, we're getting there. Let's get this over with. Attach the control box. What kind of limerick is this? <laughs> Are there two plugs, three plugs? Okay, so this comes up. This hooks on there and just sits right there, I guess. This looks like it plugs in here. These two look like they plug together. Oh boy. Hold on, Skelly, I'm reaching up your dress. There we go, okay. And this comes back down here. And this is the volume button right here. All right, let's get the plug going here. Let's get his hat on, zip him up back here. Let's get him plugged in here and see how he works. Look. He's crouching. All right, let's let him crouch. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Little skelly bones, yes! <laughs> I love how he sings. All right, let's get him going again. Three, two, Ready or not, here I come. I can't believe how fast he jumps up. He is the most awesome jumping prop ever. Alright, one more time. Pray for the dead and the dead. He is so hilarious. For the dead. But the dead will prey on you. <laughs> Alright guys, there he is, little skelly bones. We got him together, he's working perfectly. I turned down the sound so I could exit the video here. For a minute I thought he didn't work right, but I realized there was another wire I didn't have plug in, and that was the sensor that goes from the left foot over into the back. But now he's working great. And here he comes, one more time. I cannot believe how fast he jumps up. He is so awesome. And in the house, he even looks bigger than he does in the store. Because in the store, he's right up next to all those giant ones. So, all right, guys, little skelly bones, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and stick around, because I'm going to try to get to 100 Spirit Halloween stores. I might be coming to yours. <laughs>